Oh dear. And I also have some... I also ha have this rule set up where if I accidentally mislabel the series as watched or unwatched, I'll re-roll the dice. And also, I can't watch two playlists from the same channel back to back. And I don't put too much thought into the kind of stuff I watch. You know, so it's been a while since I've looked into anyone's backlog, really. Yeah, I mean, a lot of this is just for fun. Well, yeah. We all have our but hobbies. I do have another. Yeah, I also have a new reason rule called Rule Prequel. Like, let's say that I happen to roll NCS's uh, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations. As I've now watched uh, Case 1 2 on Super Genius's channel, I will now go to uh, NCS's um, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney series in that case. Because it falls under sequel clause. Yeah, th I think the last time I ever really did much for archive binging of any sort, it was when I first started watch. It was how I discovered Kokoski, actually. I don't know if you've heard of him, but... Uh, it was... I was actually hunting down Doom LPs for some stupid reason. And I came across... Actually... Yeah, it was it was Doom. So I am doing Doom one, Doom two, Doom three that I kind of regret now because I didn't really that that just there's a reason why I don't like first person shooters. Uh, oh dear, and I screwed up because I you know what? Fine, I'm probably not gonna beat it this turn regardless. So might as well just see what the heck. Okay. And right now, the thing, the part of the, all this content catching up right now, I've started, I've gotten about to the halfway point as making a list of streams. Because there were times during, say, the AGDQ events where there are some games at the time I had no interest in, so why watch the, why watch that series? You know. Right. Okay. Oh. If I put this. Okay. Yeah. So I should want to do that now. Put the robot through there. That'll take out that, but then how am I supposed to get through there again? Hmm. Oh dear. Yeah, for example, from the first AGDQ 2011, there's this game called Blast Corps. I didn't watch the stream of it, the uh, speedrun at the time. Yeah, not a lot of stuff on this list. Oh, is that what I want to do with the robots? Maybe. Maybe. Hello, Chicago man. Glad you're enjoying it. And...
Maybe I can't. <laughs> there, there is a third document that just lists episode numbers and whatnot for Netflix and TV shows. Yeah, I've never gotten into Netflix. I've I, I've never seen it as being worth the expense for me personally. I mean, uh, I mean that's just what I've titled it for just a catch-all for like anime. If I if, if there's a TV show I particularly enjoy, yeah, stuff like that. It only has four entries at this point. Uh, which one's my favorite, ZC? I am not good at ranking things like that. Uh, <laughs> probably one of the one, first one that probably comes to mind would probably be Zodiac. Although the one I'm doing right now, uh, Panoply of Kalatia, that one, oh my god, that one is just. I am blown away by that, what that quest is able to do. It's, it's nuts. And there's nothing wrong with incorporating Zelda 2 mechanics, because as I'm a fan of it. I gotta say, the thing about Zelda 2, when I initially played it, at the time, a lot, some of the stuff I just didn't understand the game simply because of youngness. Uh huh. But, but kind of like the Bell, kind of like the Bell Network series in a way. It was one of those where there was a lot of different mechanics that I just didn't understand as a kid, and therefore completely sucked at the game. Mm -hmm. But you know, as an adult, when, when I when I tried the series again, yeah, I, I actually I actually like got the mechanic. Yeah, we've all we've all so been got, we've all been there in one way or another. Uh, yeah. And Zelda, Zelda 2 is just one of those games that I just really should try again some one of these days. Okay, I've watched plenty of people play through the game already. So that should work. Yeah, that should work. Okay. And now. That'll take out the landmine that's there. Hopefully it didn't take out too much else. Uh, and I can get to the robot, but... Before I commit myself to that, I want to see... See what else is going on over here. Where does this teleporter go to? It goes into the ether. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So I think I've got it now. Okay, I think I've got this now. Taking a bit of trial and error, but puzzle games tend to do that, don't they? Yeah. So when when it comes down to it, I can get these done last, but basically when I'm on my way back around, because I can actually do that. This one over. Really? Okay, that's not sure. Don't repeat this. 
Uh, I've already forgotten which level I started at on this uh, uh, on this stream, but it's de definitely not quite as far as I was expecting to be. I definitely, the puzzle genre is a, is a genre that I definitely play some more games in at some point. Oop, first thing, I, before I do everything, I need to flip that switch. And I believe I mentioned this at some point, even even today. If the if Wikipedia is to be believed, this thing has 130 levels. So there's only after this is what 26 levels after this. So. so progress is being made, just at a slower pace. But considering I'm getting closer to the end game, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can just pull this one up now because there's really no sense in doing otherwise. Uh, huh. Let's see. Alright, let's see, so let's do the... Oh. Mm. Ah. There we go. That takes out all of those. Oh, uh, okay. So how do I want to go about this? Because there's a stupid robot still here. Uh, oh, that's... Uh, actually... I don't think I even need the robot. Yes. Oh, wait. I know what I need the robot for. Okay. I understand. What? It was more about where I when I realized where my personal ending point is going to was going to be. And when I realized there were certain things that I wouldn't be able to Although that still screwed it up. Because now there's a couple there that I couldn't get to. Okay. I figured out, I think I figured out the order of events now. Mm -hmm. uh. Do all this rearranging again. thinking I don't really need to do as much prep work on this stuff as I have been, but it's a setup that works. Uh, I'm not going to argue over it. Yeah, you know, whatever works, works, you know? That was a bad decision right there. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. 
is that I'm kind of impressed by the people that can create this stuff. Puzzle games like this. Because it's one thing to solve the puzzle, it's another to actually create it. it it's a matter of, it kind of makes me wonder whether they start with the solution and work their way back, or. It's like, what, uh, what's the chain of events when designing one of these things? It's hard telling sometimes. Yeah. Alright, so now I want to blow these two up now, because I have no reason to be here now. There we go, I think. I think I'm good now. Or maybe they just come up... Or, or maybe they just build the engine first, and then just mess around with the engine to make the levels. Maybe. Yeah. As good as those, there have been the odd level where... There was really no challenge to it whatsoever. It's just, it's just they're there to spell out a word that I can't even see because I can't see the entire map all at once. All right, so blow that one up. Oh come on! And now, all right, then blow these. Did I do things right? Yes, I did do things right. I can blow that one up, and there we go. Whew. All right. Player one, get ready. Ooh, 42 bombs, and there's a good bit of stuff going on here. And a lot of switches. That I'm wondering. How many of these things are actually relevant to things? I don't know. Oh! Something wrong? I just switched over to playing Living. I just played. I just switched over to playing Lemmings on the side right now. Oh. And I just. I'm. Yeah, I missed time something. Yeah. But I was able to salvage it by like a pixel. Yeah, I've played Lemmings before. I've never actually. I've never actually gotten very far legitimately. I've 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 used and abused Game Genie for stuff like that. Cause weird, weirdly enough, I had the I had the Game Gear version. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of different versions of this game. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, well I still don't, don't know what thing. And where did that take me? To... Took me some to somewhere that I don't want to be in. All right, fine. Well, okay. Pixel, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Certainly, it certainly is good playing it on emulator because SNES version just does not have that speed up feature. Uh, Game Gear didn't either. And I think it was Lemons 2 where they started. Yeah, I've played the tribes too. I've. I don't think I ever got that far on that either. Yeah. So the thing about tribes too is that they don't tell you what the percentage is to beat. 
that, that, it, it's because, game, it's because and... there isn't, really. Yeah, and it turns out you have to actually save. I think it was 20%. Or not 20%, 20 lemmings per tribe. Well, that's all you get. And I had... And in order, in order to get, like, gold rank, you have to save all of them. But I think there might... I think there was, like, one exception to that? Yeah, I think... Yeah, I remember... At least on the Amiga version, because at some point I just looked up a long play of that. Oh, that was... Boy, this is... This feels like a bad idea. Is that crack box there? Always there. Okay, let's see. Is one coming there? Nope, that doesn't look like that crack box comes back. Oh, I think I'm seeing up what I need to do for that, but... Yeah, 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 this one's foobard. Uh. So far, I mean, Lemmings is one of those games that I haven't yet fully beaten, but I've beaten 72 of the levels in this in this save that I'm using. Nice. Just, you know, doing them in order. Whenever I just, I don't know, whenever I feel like switching over and trying a few levels. I'd also gotten a bit of mileage out of the old, like, DOS version. So yeah. I haven't touched that in a while. Yeah. <laughs> the DOS is one of those systems where oh, I've heard it has a lot of good. Where I've heard of it having a lot of different good games on it, but yeah, the thing is, just getting back to it. Yeah, Do DOS was what different. I grew up with. And I mean, I think the first computer disc-based game I played was the was like the I like to say it was Reader Rabbit. Check him back on. But uh, so can I even ever get over there? I'm starting to think, where the heck do I, how do I get to that corner? But I think the only game that game I played was the DOS port of Super Solvers, Gizmos and Gadgets. It was one of those games that had some lag problems. Is that... Especially on the Mac. Okay, I think, okay, that opened that up, alright. Okay. Okay, so... I need to get the medium bomb over next to the small one, otherwise this is not gonna work.
plus ou tu es bon. Ok, Feels like I want to set these up to explode as well. Dang it! Dang you, stupid. But uh, yeah, for reference, this stream list I started mm -hmm. typing out of streams I've watched and what was on those streams, I started typing that up back in, uh, was it 2010? And I'm just now transferring it over to a spreadsheet. Yeah, I want to get that one so I can get that. So why did I want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> Keen. My primary experience was with one and four, though I have played up through five. Never, uh, Keen six was that Keen Dreams? I don't. I never. I don't think I ever actually done that one. Let's see. That was what. Why not? There's uh, Judy Chrono's Texas. Yes, I can. Find all. Oh, I had to in short hand. Huh. I don't think I actually want to blow that one up. I want to. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh. Ah, dang it. Uh, give me a sec, I need to turn on the light. Alright. So, yeah, just looking at this list right here, as of, as of the beginning of 2015, I don't think uh, there's been Commander Akeen 2 and 3 at a GDQ. I'm sorry? These uh, games done quick marathons. Well, I was like I said, I was stepping away to turn on the light. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, oh, uh, at these uh, games done quick marathons, I, uh, according to this list right here, unless I typoed something, I don't think there's been Commander Keen two and three at a GDQ marathon yet. Hmm. Huh. I guess I said unless I typoed something. Possible. Uh That one up. That blow those two up. And 
come Jeffrey. back around through here and flip this switch. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> Though of course the Rise Commander King one was at one of those side events. Mm -hmm. Those side GDQs like J Japan Relief done quick. And I haven't seen much of uh, GDQ myself. <laughs> Though, uh, probably one of the things that I saw that I re was really amazed by was uh, when they were doing the weird fancy things like having Skype, or running Skype through a Super NES. Yeah. yeah. I got that's the one where I wasn't able to catch that bit live. Of oh, course, the Thomas oh, that, Archive like, list. Stuff like running the Twitch chat through a Super NES. It's the, the fact that they're able to do that just amazes yeah. me. Oh. Okay, where does this uh, one go? A lot, I've heard. I've heard. I've looked up some more. I tried looking up some more technical technical explanations of that stuff, other than what they tell tell you tell the viewers at the, these GDQ events. Oh my gosh, people! Uh, so, so just some of the people overreact to so, so 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 many of the negative things at the GDQ. It's like oh my gosh, that was one person. Oh but, dear, yeah, something a lot of the technical... went wrong, and I don't know what it is. Oh, did I forget to come down through this way? Probably. But, yeah, a lot of the technical explanation is with those hardware stuff. It sounds like they connect some wires to a lot of different devices to make that work. And they put it all in through the, uh controller ports for the Super NES. Yeah, basically. Though, though it's reading some graphics from an... It's reading graphics from a different file on the computer, and that's what really it triggers. It's just like, okay, here's this... Here's this graphics file right here. Auto-generate these graphics from this video clip. That's what it sounds like it is, anyway. Uh, from what I understand, which it well, honestly isn't very much, they're... It's just from there, they're putting in, like, an insane number of inputs, like, all at once. Yeah. And yeah. It, it's... It's kind of in the same vein as a lot of TAS videos when they do, like, the arbitrary code execution stuff. Yeah. And that arbitrary code execution just gets the emulator to read data from the from a computer source. That's what it basically gets it down to. And it's it's really impressive to watch, but man, the the people who had to engineer that feat uh -huh. certainly put in some overtime. Yeah, that they did. That they did. Uh, hopefully this is all of them this time. Yes, that is all of them. Good. Okay, I didn't miss any this time. And I'm there, and I'm safe. Good. Woo! <sighs> Not sure what the intended method of that was, but... Get ready.